On September 8, 1760 AD, the new France city of Montreal surrendered to the British after a three-month-long offensive ending France's occupation of its largest remaining city in North America. The vastly outnumbered and wary French soldiers were led by Francois de la Ville, who tried to keep the morale of the soldiers up after the fall of Quebec nearly a year prior. On April 28, 1760 AD, he led over 5,000 soldiers to try and retake Quebec. De la Ville rallied his troops to victory at the Battle of saint foy and they laid siege to the city. But the siege ended after a couple of weeks due to the British being able to lift it when they brought in fresh supplies along with more soldiers. Sadly, any hope for the survival of the French territory in the northeast was doomed due to the British Royal Navy destroying their supplies at the Battle of Resugage. The British sank all five merchant ships, and the French scuttled their frigate, which carried most of their needed supplies on July 8th after a week-long engagement at sea. The British army led by General Geoffrey Amherst along with the Iroquois Confederacy on July 2nd led a three-pronged attack upon Montreal. After a three-month offensive, the British and their native allies began their siege on Montreal on September 6th. Before the siege began, most of the local militia and their native allies fled the city, leaving only 2,000 able-bodied soldiers left to defend Montreal against 18,000 besiegers. Seeing how dire the situation was, a city filled with French non-combatants, only 2,000 soldiers, along with hundreds of sick ones laid up in makeshift infirmaries, made surrender the only option for their territory's governor, Marquis Valdrel. La Vie tried to negotiate with the British a one-month peace treaty, but Amherst declined his request. On September 8, 1760 AD, the city of Montreal officially surrendered to the British army. The loss of the city was the death knell for New France. The British quickly moved into their new occupied city and established order right away. The new British government declared that the French Canadians of the city were allowed to stay if they chose to and were granted freedom of religion, free from fear of being deported, and they were allowed to keep their property. General Thomas Gage was appointed the new military governor of Montreal. La Vie wasn't happy with the terms of surrender, which didn't include the traditional honors of war, and decided to burn his troops' regimental colors rather than turning them over to Amherst and his British soldiers. Marquis Vaudreuil was later imprisoned by the French government after the surrender of Montreal in 1762, but he was later acquitted and exonerated. The so-called French and Indian War would officially end a few years later with the signing of the Treaty of Paris on February 10, 1763, along with a new map of North America showcasing the greatly expanded British possessions. But it would all be for naught when 12 years later the colonies would rise up against England.